Hi, my friend. So how many words go on a page in a book? That is the simple and yet somehow complex question that I'm going to answer today for you on this video. My name is Kelly Notaris. I'm the founder of KN Literary Arts. We are a full service book studio helping authors just like you go from having a germ or seed of an idea all the way through to getting your book in your hand. So please visit us at knliterary.com. And if you would like to get all of the information I've learned in 20 plus years in the US book publishing business, you can find it all right here on this YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and click the little bell icon so you never miss a video. All right, so the question at hand, which is one I get a lot, is how many words should I put, you know, imagine are gonna go on every page of my book? And this is a question I like talking about because a lot of times, and many of you who follow me, you know, I talk ad nauseum about the difference between page count and word count. Very frequently, authors come to me or the studio and they say, oh, I've written a book, it's about, you know, 350 pages. Well, that doesn't tell us anything about the word count because it is, it may be that you're double spacing, it may be that you're single spacing. You might be using a 10 point font and you might be using a small-ish font like Times New Roman, or you might be using a bigger font and a larger size. We don't know. So there's no way for us to actually get a sense of how many words are in that manuscript. So never, ever, 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 ever talk to an editor about the pages you've written. Talk to them about the number of words that you have written. Okay, so that's the first hint from this video. But I'm actually going to use a book, a really awesome book, if any of you know, the amazing Marie Forleo. This is her book, Everything is Figure Outable. And I'm going to use it to help you see how to determine how many words go on a page in a book. Because if you have a sense of like wanting to be putting out a kind of skinny book, something that people will find, you know, easy to say yes to, and they'll be able to read maybe on a plane ride or something like that, you're going to want to go for a, a pretty skinny word count, right? So you need to know you know, you can take a book and see, find one that has the exact number of pages you would like your book to have. And then you can do the, the very complicated procedure I'm about to show you to figure out how many words are in that book. And then you can aim for that same word count with your book. Okay. So one thing that I would say is go ahead and look at your bookshelf and find a book that's roughly the size and shape and, you know, et cetera, uh, thickness or skinniness that you would like your book to be. And you can pull it off the shelf and do this with me. So this is how we find out how many words are in this book. So first thing we do is we look for a page that has like an average number of words on it. So I'm just gonna go with one here that has, um, I'm gonna do this one, it has one break in it. It's not a full total you know, book page like these, but it's also not one that has a lot of breaks like these, right? So I'm just gonna do one break because she actually breaks up her content pretty nicely throughout the course of the book. And then, I'm going to get out my counting finger. Oh, watch me do this. I'm looking at the top line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 words. Now I actually pre-looked pre in this book and I saw that the average number of words on a line in this book that has a full line of text across it is 12 words. So it's just like that. So basically with the font size that they chose and the space between the lines that they chose, um, which is actually called letting, oddly enough, and the space between the letters, which is called kerning, um, they, we've ended up with this particular interior design has 12 words roughly per full line. Okay, so we're just gonna go with 12. Sometimes it's more because you do need to count the A's and the it's and all the little words just as much as you count the big words. Um, but we're just gonna go with 12 per line. And then we're gonna count down and see how many lines per page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. This is exciting, isn't it? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 lines on an average page. Again, I did not count this line break. I just did 27. So some pages are going to have 28 lines, but that's okay. Um, we're just going for an average. It can be a rough estimate. So we had 12 words times 27 lines. Then we get out our handy dandy calculator. Oh yes, I actually own a old school calculator. And I'm going to say here 12 words times 27 lines per page. 
324 words per page. That is very average. When someone asks me roughly, what does an industry standard book interior design um, put a number of words per page? I usually say it's between 300 and 350. So here we have it at 324, right in the middle of that. Okay, so 324. Then we need to actually look at how many pages in this book have content on them, okay? Because there's a lot of pages at the beginning, right? We've got our praise page. We don't want to count that because you're not um, including that when you're writing your book. You know, we've got our, our um, half title, our full title, our copyright page, dedication, yada, yada. We get to the table of contents. So I would say start at whatever's past the table of contents. And you can see at the bottom here that they actually, like most um book publishing companies, th this, all this stuff that came before is called front matter. And it, it, they use Roman numeral, Roman numerals. They don't actually count those pages, but just in case, make sure they don't. And in this case they don't. So this is actually page one. And then we're going to go to the back of the book and we're going to see everything that comes after the very last page in the book. Now I'm going to include the appendix here because there's actually a pretty needy appendix. You may or may not want to include your appendix. You definitely do not need to include your index if you think you're going to have one, um, which actually, did Marie have an index? Marie has an index. Um, okay, so it ends on page 277. I'm not even, I'm not actually going to count the notes either because they're not considered part of the main manuscript. So basically we have 277 pages times our page count of 324. So let me do that, 277. And this book is 89,748 words. Now, it's not exactly that. Obviously, there's space, etc. My guess is that we're looking at something more like 87,000, 86, 87,000 words, which is actually quite a, a lengthy book. Mine, I felt like was a lengthy book, and it's 79,000 words. Um, so if you're writing your first book and you don't already have an audience and you're not writing a really in-depth how-to book, which obviously I did, and you don't have a huge audience like Marie does, go a little skinnier. It's better to keep it a little bit less. I would say aim for somewhere between 50 and 65,000 um, for most books. Now, of course, it depends on your genre. Are you writing fiction, etc. But that's a different video. Um, so hopefully today you learned the main thing, which is how to figure out how many words to put on a book page um, and how many words you can, how to figure out how many words are in a, a book that's roughly the size you want your book to be so you know what to aim for, okay? And then the last thing, one more time, I never ever want to hear you say, my book is 350 pages. I'm writing a book. It's a manuscript and it's 350 pages. That doesn't mean anything to me. How many words is it? Word count is your friend. So keep it close to your heart. All right. I hope that was helpful to all of you. Please visit KN Literary Arts for much more great information about how to get your book into the world. I hope that this has been helpful and come back next week for another video. And in the meantime, happy writing. In the meantime, happy writing.